through all sorts of changes, the same dream, sometimes an interval of several years, recurs to me. I name it the dream of the double cry. Its context is always much the same, a primitive world meagerly equipped. I find myself in a vast cave like the Latomius of Syracuse or in a mud building that reminds me when I awake of the villages of the Fallahan or on the fringe of a gigantic forest whose like I cannot remember having seen. The dream begins in very different ways, but always with something extraordinary happening to me. For instance, with a small animal resembling a lion cub whose name I know in the dream, but now when I awake, tearing the flesh from my arm and being forced only with an effort to loose its hold. The strange thing is that this first part of the dream story, which in the duration as well as the outer meaning of the incidents is easily the most important, always unrolls at a furious pace as though it did not matter. Then suddenly the pace abates. I stand there and cry out in the view of the events which my waking consciousness has. I should have to suppose that the cry I utter varies in accordance with what preceded it and is sometimes joyous, sometimes fearful, sometimes even filled with both with pain and with triumph. But in my morning recollection, it is neither so expressive nor so various. Each time, it is the same cry, inarticulate but in strict rhythm, rising and falling, swelling to a fullness which my throat could not endure were I awake, long and slow, quiet, quite slow and very long, a cry that is a song. When it ends, my heart stops beating, but then somewhere far away, another cry moves toward me, another which is the same, the same cry uttered or sung by another voice, yet it is not the same cry, certainly no echo of my cry, but rather its true rejoinder, tone for tone, not repeating mine, not even in a weakened form, but corresponding to mine, answering its tones, so much so that mine, which it first had to my own ear, no sound questioning at all, now all receive a response. The response is no more capable of interpretation than the question. And yet the cries that meet another, each time the voice is new, but now as the reply ends, in the first moment, after its dying fall, a certitude, true dream certitude, comes to me that now, now it has, has happened. happened. Nothing more, just this, and in this way, now, now it has, has happened. happened. If I should try to explain it, it, it means that that happening which gave rise to my cry has only now, with the rejoinder, really and undoubtedly happened. After this manner, 
the dream has recurred each time till once the last time now two years ago at first it was as usual it as the dream with the animal my cry died away again my heart stood still but then there was quiet there came no answering call I listened I heard no sound for I awaited the response for the first time hitherto it always surprised me as though I had never heard it before awaited it failed to come but now something happened to me as though I had till now had no other access from the world to sensation save that of the ear and now discovered myself as being simply equipped with senses both those clothed in the bodily organs and the naked senses so I exposed myself to the distance open to all sensation and perception And then, not from a distance, but from the air round about me, noiselessly came the answer. Really, it did not come. It was there. It had been there, so I may explain it. Even before my cry, there it was. And now, when I laid myself open to it, it let itself be received by me. I received it as completely into my perception as ever I received the rejoinder in one of the earlier dreams. If I were to report with what I heard, I should have to say, with every pore of my body, As ever the rejoinder came in one of the earlier dreams, this corresponded to and answered my cry. It exceeded the earlier rejoinder in an unknown perfection, which is hard to define, for it resides in the fact that it was already there. When I reached an end of receiving it, I felt again that certainty peeling out more than ever that now, now it has, has happened. happened.